Thanks for calling, Pat. Hello? His phone has been ringing off the hook. It's going to be a tiring day. <laughs> but when the Swedish ambassador called, it was a call Thomas Stites had to take. Contact with the Swedish ambassador. Oh, oh, hold, hold, hold on just one moment. Did you say yes? Yes, yeah, okay. He can actually speak to you right now. The Yale biochemist has been walking around his lab in a bit of a daze. It's been a surreal day for Stites. Oh, okay. Sid, congratulations. Oh, well. Ever since he was awakened this morning with a very special call that he won oh, yeah, the Nobel no, Prize I, for Chemistry. Phone call at 5.30 in the morning, a relatively small number of possibilities, and on the day of the Chemistry Prize, I thought, well, maybe it's Stockholm. But yes, it was very exciting. This year's year's prize award studies of how the DNA code is translated into life. Stites, along with fellow American Venkatraman Ramakrishnan and Israeli Ada Yanath, were awarded the Nobel for their discoveries about ribosome, which translates DNA into protein. Well, this is a model of uh, the ri whole ribosome structure. Their three-dimensional models show how different antibiotics bind to ribosomes. That understanding could ultimately lead to new drugs to fight bacterial infections. Using our structural work on the ribosome and its complexes with antibiotics oh, should lead to new antibiotics that will cure um, MRSA in infections. Uh, they, were, they were effective against all, all the drug-resistant bacteria that it's been tested against. The three scientists worked independently in their research. After receiving the news in Cambridge where he now lives, Ramakrishnan says as honored as he is, the work itself is its own reward. I mean, it's gratifying in, in a way to have uh, one's work uh, vindicated by what is, after all, the most prestigious award in science. Uh, on the other hand, it's important to remember that that's not why we went into science. The three winners will split a $1.4 million prize. Each will receive a diploma and a gold medal. And, of course, the honor to be known as Nobel laureates. In New Haven, Connecticut, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.